What's up guys, Tollgage44 and today we will be making some crow decoys. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the crow decoys I already use along with some one I just bought that I'm going to turn into a crow decoy and then we're going to make some real easy to make cheap decoys and we're going to put them to test tomorrow. We're going to follow this up with a hunting video so stay tuned and uh, hopefully you'll see some decoys in action. Uh, let's get it. Okay, starting off, uh, this is a Avery, I think it's called a Greenhead uh, decoy. It's an oversized decoy that I bought. It's a little used, but you're supposed to kind of take care of it. But uh, it's, it's got a little wear and tear on it, but uh, it's kind of almost got like a velvety feel. It's keeping its color real nice, nice jet black. But uh, they're nice because they have a, a stake right in the back. I mean, the tail that goes in, and that way you always have your stake for them. They move around in the wind. And uh, they're probably the nicest decoys. I think right now they're going for like 20 bucks a pop. There's the, the fighting crow, and they also have the uh, stationary crow or something like that. Um, yeah, I can put a link in the description, but this is one of the better decoys that I have. I also have this. Uh, this is like an older, old school uh, crow decoy. Uh, I can't even make out the brand. It's sports something, but uh, yeah, definitely old school. Um, but it's, it works, obviously. It's nice hard plastic. It's hollowed out, but uh, doesn't have a stake, so I just cut off some branches or something. But yeah, that's not a bad decoy, but that, that's it for decoys. I've got a couple of these, a couple of the other ones, but uh, we're going to try making a few more, and we're going to see how we do. First decoy we're going to make is a little more higher end. Uh, it's called the uh, Lucky Duck Rapid Flyer Dove. It's a dove decoy. But it's pretty good size. I got pretty big hands. You can kind of compare it to my hand. So it's not like the oversized decoys, but it's pretty close to the size of the other crow decoys. Um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to take this thing and we're going to try painting it black. And it's going to add a little bit of uh, motion to our setup. And uh, here, I'll flick it on for you. I just got today, so um, I'm still figuring out. It's pretty simple. You just put the wings on. These stakes all come together. It's got like an adjustable that so then you just flick her on Oops, drop stake yeah look at that that's gonna be pretty cool looking out in the setup so uh, we're gonna paint this black and uh, I think it's gonna fool them pretty good I think this is $30 off of Cabela's that's drying. Uh, here's a couple uh, silhouettes of crows that I cut out. I, I did a flying crow here so uh, we'll put a stake underneath it and uh, it'll, we'll paint it black of course and I'll, as the crow flies over he'll hopefully see this and want to swoop down. Uh, these are more these are the more homemade style decoys I guess you would say if you're trying to be on a budget because this is all you're getting is the, just the cardboard and the black paint. Uh, I got a feeding crow here um, put a couple of these out in the field along with a roosted up crow. You always want to have at least one crow up in a tree. So uh, I'd probably put this guy up in the tree. And uh, we're going to cut out some of these. I said, I just kind of hand drew these. I'm not an artist by any means. Uh, it's just, just thick cardboard I had in a box and just cut it up. And uh, I can cut one out real quick if you want. And um, we'll paint these up too. And we'll set them out and see how they look. Alright guys, so like I said, uh, I just hand drew these, so all I'm going to do is just kind of trace them out with a knife. we got some thick cardboard here, and uh, you can probably double them up or triple them up if you really want to make some better looking decoys. But um, yeah, I'm just going to try just the single ones out. Uh, you'll probably see in the video that we're shooting tomorrow how well they work, if we're going to keep doing this or not. Uh, you probably don't need a ton of decoys, but we're, we're shooting for probably like 10, 15 decoys. Um, so yeah, we're, we'll just trace this out real quick. Hey 
There you go, there's second cardboard feeding decoy. Um, yeah, so now we just got paint these. And uh, I said, dude, these are, these are pretty cheap. You make them on budget. Uh, we'll see how well they do. And uh, hopefully they'll work out and you guys can do, or use them too. For the last decoy today, uh, we're, uh, we're going to be real simple. And uh, we're going to use some junk that you might have in your house. Uh, we're actually going to be using juice jugs. Uh, there's no special brain of juice. Just whatever juice jug you got. Uh, hopefully the crows aren't too smart and you can figure out this is just a juice jug painted black and they'll come in flying into it so this one's also pretty self-explanatory uh, we're just going to take a jug paint black set out in the field hopefully they're not smart enough to laugh at us and fly away before we get shot at that's pretty much it guys pretty much the ideas that we had to try and make some cheap decoys along with some fancier decoys to make up for the lack of decoys that we have uh, hopefully we can outsmart the crows tomorrow and we can get on some get some good footage and we'll you'll see these decoys put to use some other ideas we kind of had was like garbage bags and stuff like that but it's always so windy at my house that we just figured the garbage bag just blow around if there's any other ideas that you guys might have or think that these, some of these are dumb or you, you try them yourself put it down in the comments below and we read every comment and stay tuned and we're going to put these decoys to use and you'll see if they even work or not uh this is alan gage we'll see you in the next one